Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Sam and I haven't been around for quite a while but I keep thinking I want to get back into it, I want to get back into it. This is the easiest video for me to do to get back into it. Um, I've just done my first big shop of the year. I've been doing, I think I did a small top up and then a, a, from Asta and that's the only one I've done. Um, so food I've got has got ridiculous if I look at this and how much I used to fill my sides with stuff compared to what it is now so in Aldi I spent 126 I think I think um and then I spent 30 pounds in Iceland warehouse so I just thought I'd show you what I've got so I've got three packets of wipes but I've actually just put I put um this but this isn't from a thing but i always put this in a little bit of this in my packs of wipes and i'm going to do some cleaning so i've already put that in one packet so i've got three packets of wipes i got this to try um i think this is um oh gosh what is it called Shang uh, sanctuary uh dupe but i thought i'd give it a try i needed some grease with paper i ran out when i was making homemade pizzas with the boys not last night the night before um these are fresh fries so these are in the fresh bit with all the pizzas and stuff and these taste like mcdonald's fries they are so blinking good so i've got one of those i've got two little mini cheesy garlic breads and two pepperoni stuffed crust pizzas i think when i put these in the fridge i'm going to have to take them out of the boxes though because i don't think i will have room um, I picked up two marzipan bars. Now, at Easter time, they do these in like an Easter egg shape, um, but they brought them out at Christmas time, and marzipan is my favourite. So, um, these stuff isn't quite out yet, so I picked up two of these. So, this one is just normal marzipan, and then this one has got like um, a praline, yeah, so a hazelnut praline and through the centre. Oh my gosh, they're so yummy. I picked up a few bits for Charlotte for her little girl, so these are one of them. I've never had them before. But for the whole bar, it's only got 228 calories. So if you actually um, calorie count in and want like proper chocolate, um, these are probably a good idea. I picked up some of their raisins because I absolutely love those. We found that I normally just buy like, are you okay? Well, that was a bent pull. I just knocked a whole can of energy drink over all over the floor and the, the stickiest things ever. Alpha distracted me. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Oh, my back's killing me now, though. My, my chronic illness has been pants, guys. Um, I bought this on a whim. I think it was, like, reduced um, or knocked down or something on, like, a special offer. And Dylan's found he's really loved it, and so do I, actually. Um, I never, ever, don't think I've ever really bought chicken gravy, so I bought two because they're only, like, the little pots. Um, said those. I got another bottle of juice. I think this is summer fruits because we've got all the other type of squashes in the fridge. Some pop tarts, some um duo spread. This is my favourite thing at the minute. Um, and so are these. If you like the pickled onions, um, these are incredible. <laughs> I can sit and eat them out the jar. Um, I don't know if that's very good for me, but I do. Never mind. I've got a pasta bake, a normal pasta sauce, and I've got a sweet and sour. I've also picked up one of these um, tomato mascarpone because I really like this. Um, I often do it when the boys have had something and I'm at work, when Dylan cooks the tea and I'm just making pasta for myself. Same with these. Um, I've got a few of the different flavours, but I've been waiting for this one to come back in. Um, these soups, they do chunky vegetable, a chicken, a beef, I think. But they are incredible and they are so filling. These I picked up. Alfie's had his. Anytime a new one comes out, he's collecting all the bottles. So we've got the cherry freeze and the lemonade. Um, they were in, they came in stock today. The 19th. Uh, no, it's not the 19th, Samantha. It's Sunday the 14th. I've just got some mixers and some oregano because I was low on those. I've got two chopped tomatoes with mixed herbs and a passata. Then I've got some carrots. I've got onions and bits in my fridge so i've got a cabbage um a swede two broccolis some celery some mushrooms a big bag of potatoes i am gonna make i know butter pies are a lancashire thing um pardon me 
but I've never ever ever made myself one and I've been craving one recently so I thought you know what I'm gonna have a go at making myself one I've actually still got some of the 15p potatoes from Christmas time left over and carrots I've stored them in a really dark cool place um and they need using up so I'm gonna use those up to make the butter pie um and then I've got bag of potatoes for the week oh. let me know if you like what was that flying off um let me know if you like butter pies they are yummy um, I've got some biscuits now. We have got loads of sweet treat stuff. So instead of buying like this, the ones that go, um, these will get opened and put into the biscuit barrel type thing as and when I want them rather than the kids having um, them just shoved into the box because they're, they're individually wrapped. That's what I meant. These are individual wraps. So we've got some custard cream, some just cookies, some short t shortcake biscuits. And Viennese fingers. Like I say, some of it is stocking up in areas where it's all all gone over Christmas and whatever, and the first week or so. Um, Alpha need quite a few breakfast and lunch box biscuits. Oh, a lot of lunch box bits. Um, so I've got some Soreen. He really likes these. He likes all the varieties of them. We've got some cereal bars because we've got none in at all. So I've got some strawberry ones and apple ones. Alfie likes these, so do I. Um, and then these ones are Dylan's. We've got some sticky stuffy like cake. Um, this is incredible. For It's so cheap and you can warm it up and have it like with custard we've done before. Or it's just great sliced as like a bit of cake. And it lasts forever. I don't know what's in it to make it last forever though. I picked these up. These were at the till um, and I was waiting, so I was having a look. Now, this one's got, let me see if that's got, this one's got bit vitamin B6 in. This one has got B6 and zinc. It was the flavours, I thought, and I can take them to work with me so that I drink more juice because I'm not drinking enough at all. This has got, is it niacin? Vitamin B3 but it wasn't the vitamins that I was interested in anyway so I've got some proper butter to make my butter pie and then some like spreadable butter for sandwiches and stuff um two of these boxes of smoothies are for Charlotte and one is for our fridge because Alfie I try and get Alfie to have one in his lunch box um or in the morning one or the other I've got some burgers and a gammon joint now I always get the gammon joint because it lasts forever in the fridge um and the burgers had a really good date on them because I have got so much I've got so much meat in my freezer um, and stuff that I don't even know what's in there to be honest I need to do like um, not a clear out but like a go through what I've got in my freezer and cupboards and kind of like work through things because if some things have sat there way too long and I don't like want them to go out of date and not be used so maybe we'll do an organizing of my food stock cupboards fridge freezers I don't know I don't know I know my cupboards need a good sort out anyway after Christmas so maybe that will do that I've got some little yogurt pouches for Alfie's lunchbox some little chocolate pots for like weekend next weekend and stuff for the um with their lunch we've got some little pepperonis now Alfie doesn't like the actual brandy pepperonis he prefers these ones we've got some ham We've got a big bag of mozzarella. We use this for if we make homemade pizzas or if we make pasta bakes and things like that. So I've got some cheese slices for those burgers because of however much I love like proper cheese, burgers got to have cheese slices on in my eyes. I've got some coleslaw. I picked up one of these to um, make into a pasta, something different for pasta because I don't normally add a meat to my pastas. It was like my vegetarian option of the week, but I picked this one up Um I also thought I could cut it up and put it in bits in Alfie's lunchbox. Something different. I don't know. Um, sausage rolls, they're always on ours because the boys love them. I got some pineapple juice. Um, when did I have... Oh, I made... When we made pizzas, homemade pizzas, I made pi pineapple on mine. And I drank the juice out of the can. I was like, oh my God, I really like some pineapple juice. And it's new in. I've never seen it in there before. So can't wait to have that. I've got some long life milk. I've got some ice cream for the freezer. Um, again, never seen this one. So I am going to cheat with my pastry for my pie. Um, it is what it is. Slicing the potatoes and the onions and stuff will be enough for me. A garlic baguette. Some Richmond sausages because of 
Aldi now do like more and more name brand things I've noticed and the boys really like Richmond's and these are actually cheaper than their own version in the free in the freezer um, those were £2.29 which for Richmond and 20 sausages is really good I normally always make my own York, um, roast potatoes with beef dripping but I thought for a convenience of something different to chips or whatever in the freezer I thought I'm going to get those I've never seen them before. Bread wise, we've got burger buns for the burgers. These for the chicken bits, I'll show you in a second. Um, I did want it like the huge ones because I make like um, a burrito. I, I put chips and the, the chicken and everything inside it and wrap it in them foil around the outside, but they didn't have any now, so we've just got some of those. Tortilla wraps are for Alfie's lunch boxes. This is their treat for after tea. Um, these are what I love. That's spreading at the moment. They are my um, guilty pleasure. Um, I'm not... Um, what was I going to say? I don't really eat lunch and stuff, but these are what I found I've, I've had as a snack. Or if I cannot sleep, I'll come down and have them. I warm them up slightly and then put that spread in them. So good. Nom, nom, nom. I do need to go back to Slimming World though guys, I really do. Um, I've got some bread, now these, oh and some hot cross buns and toilet roll. I also got six lots of water. So from Iceland Warehouse I got the Ridiculous Crispy French Fries, the boys love these ones. Some mash again just for ease sometimes on working nights. The big bag of their chicken strips, these are the best like battered chicken strips you can buy out of anywhere. I've tried them all. Um, and these are what we make like the flatbreads and stuff with. Again, I've got these for ease and they will be able to sit in the fridge. Um, I didn't check the date on them. Normally I check. Why have they changed the name on them anyway after so many years? That just like really frustrates me. Where is the date? Oh yeah, so they've got the end of February on. So again, they were on offer. They were a pound 10p, I think, something like that. They were just over a pound. So again, great for the fridge. Again, these are for Alfie's lunch pots. Again, these have got two weeks worth of date on them, so these are really good as well. Um, these, what was on the two for three? Two for five. I think it was those and these. Um, I've never seen these before. So again, something different for the fridge. Some cream. I know it's not actual cream, or do you know it's not actual cream? It's a cream substitute, but. Again, it's one that has a brilliant shelf life to sit in my fridge. And then I got 12, no, eight bottles of Pepsi. This was on offer for three pounds, which again is a really good price, 58 washes. Um, I picked up this to make, I'm going to make a sausage casserole with mash, something different. I also know I've got loads of chicken thighs, drumsticks, all sorts in the fridge. Now I have got some of these, but I think the one I've got is a spicy one that I'm not sure the kids will eat. Um... So with this one, I always add extra garlic in, so it's more like a garlic and herb one. Um, this again was on offer, that's why I picked it up. Um, so mayonnaise. Now, I've seen this all over TikTok, and I haven't had this in years. I went and worked in Guernsey when I was 17. Um, and I used to, they had this in the kitchen there, and I used to love it on like just um, chopped tomatoes with it sprinkled on. Um, but I've seen people use it more and more. So I, when I saw it, because I've never seen it since in the shops, obviously I don't shop in the big supermarkets. I thought I'm grabbing that. Um, oh no, it was this. This was on the three for five. So was this. And then my favourite crisps. I'm not a massive crisp person, but these are a weakness. Now these are normally like two pound a bag everywhere at the moment. But in there, they have them on the three for five, which works out a real good deal. And then I just picked up the 12 cheese and onion crisps for the boys. Oh, yeah, and the pop. I told, I said my Pepsi. Um, again, I debated over the Pepsi, but I just know at the moment I'm not even drinking enough Pepsi, let alone if I didn't buy it, because I'd stood down and debated and debated over it, because I've gotten really good with my drinking um, all my fluid in uh, water and juice or cordial squash, whatever you want to call it. But I've I've gone really backwards with it, drinking it at all in general. Um so I thought no, I'm gonna buy it, 
and hopefully wean back over to drinking juice. But anyway, thank you for joining me. Hopefully this will be the back to me kind of getting myself in my ass into gear and filming. I just quickly, because I know you guys who are stuck around are all the like original followers and whatever else have been here a while. It was out on the... Ninth. Oh my god, I couldn't think then. So I need to take these down today. Um, but he's been building his Lego sets. Um, this is what he spent his birthday money on Lego and more Lego. And these were all his Christmas sets. So he got more Lego. His room is gonna need a big massive shift around. Um, so we've got somewhere to put them um when he builds them. Now I did just find a website that you can pay a monthly subscription for and borrow essentially Lego sets to build. Now Alfie loves the Lego, but he doesn't really play with it once it's built. He loves the building process of it. Um, and it's actually something that he can switch his brain off with. Um, so I think it's £15 a month. It's, you can cancel at any time. So you can do a month and if you don't like it, that is fine. So I think what I'm going to do is I might try a month or I might wait until the summer holidays because I actually thought it's a pretty good thing to have in the summer holidays if you think about it. Um, so you, like you order a set, it gets delivered to you, you make it and you send it back. Now, and then once it's sent back and they receive it, I think you can then order another set. Um, so even if you did like four sets a month, that's, that's like, what, £3.50 a week? And they have the big, huge sets as well. So obviously they'll probably take longer than a week. Although knowing Alfie, he's like 100, and, 100 to £120 pound sets. He can do them in two to three days. So God knows how fast he could actually do them. Anyway, thank you for watching. I shall see you all really soon in my next video. Goodbye.